Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. This question is asking a vertical wire carries a current vertically apart in a region where the magnetic field vector points towards the north. What is the direction of the magnetic force on the current due to the field? And let's see how we can find it. Here they are asking for the force direction, and this current direction is given. Also, we have the direction of magnetic field. So here we have to use the right hand rule. So when you use right hand rule, so you align your fingers along the current's direction, this one, right? And then you curl it toward the magnetic field direction. So that's going to be inside, right? So when you curl it, this thumb shows the uh, forces direction, right? And if you notice that, that's going to be a best direction. So the answer for this question it's going to be towards the west. So that's going to be the first question. Answer for the first question. And let's do the second question. So this is in a in a in figure. This one is a velocity selector that can be used to measure the speed of a charged particle. The beam of particle is directed along the axis of the instrument. The parallel plate capacitor sets up an electric field E, which is oriented, oriented perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field B. If the plates are separated by 8 mm and the value of the magnetic field is 0 0.3 Tesla, what voltage between the plates will allow the particle of speed 5 times 10 to the power of 5? So this is 10 to the power of 5. Right. This should be 10 to the power of 5. Okay. And 10 to the power of 5 meter per second to pass straight through without deflection. So here this should go without deflection. So whenever we have only particles with speed equal to E over B. So V is equal to E over B will go through will go through without being defle deflection, right? In the field. So here, this is the equation we have to use. So here we are trying to find the voltage. This is velocity, voltage and velocity. Let's use capital V for voltage. Cap capital V is equal to ED, right? ED. We know the distance already, 8 millimeter. We have to find the electric field. It's not provided. But we can find this one using the first equation. So let's go ahead and find it. So from this one, we can rearrange this one to find the E. E is going to be equal to V times B. V is velocity, that is 5 times 10 to the power of 5 meter per second times the magnetic field, that is 0 0.3 Tesla. So this is multiplied by 0 0.3 Tesla. And if you multiply, you will get 0. Point so let's try it in full notation. So this is going to be equal to 15 times 10 to the power of 4 volts per meter. Now we have to calculate volts. That's the question, right? So let's, uh, what's the voltage between the plates? We'll allow the parties. So voltage is the question. Let's go ahead and calculate this one. This is going to be E times D. E we already found it. That's 15 times 10 to the power of 4 times the distance is given by millimeter. So we have to, so let's say this is volt per meter, and this is millimeter. To convert millimeter into meter, we have to multiply this one by 10 to the power of minus 3 meter. And then if you calculate this one, that comes out to be 1200 volts. And that's going to be the answer for the second question. So therefore, the correct selection should be A. And that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.